Hello everybody, welcome back to Ursa Minor Sewing, and today we are going to finally start cutting and marking the skirt portion of the Princess Peach costume. This shouldn't take nearly as long as the bodice did because it's not nearly as intricate. You saw how to do the drafting and how to do the uh, pattern prep in my last video. Um, just like when I did the cutting and prep work for the bodice, I'm not going to show you the actual cutting out part. I'm going to show you pictures of the layouts and I'll leave it up to you to figure out how to do the cutting yourself because, again, cutting out a pattern is pretty straightforward. You pin, you cut. And I am, however, deal. going to show you how to cut out the gathered portions for the peasant skirt underskirt portion. So, let's go over to the cutting mat and see how that's done. Okay, so first things first, before you go start cutting out your strips, you need to make sure that your um, edge here is square. So you're just going to line the selvage edge up on the edge here. Um, find where it best lines up, which right here is about the 15 and a half mark, and just cut off this section here. Like okay, that. so what I have done is I have now folded this down along the cross grain rather than um, having it folded this way, uh, this way along selvage to selvage. I've folded it um, along so that it's a full 45 inches wide uh, from here behind me. And I've measured it out from one cor from the fold line down to 42 inches. I'm only going to show you on one panel how to do this and you can figure out how to do the rest. It's pretty straightforward. So I folded it to the specs of the largest panel which was 84 inches. So I've divided that in two which is 42. I'm going to take this out of here. Now I'm going to measure down from there 10 inches because it's 9 inches plus um, a half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to measure down from my squaring from my selvage edge, measure down 10 inches, and draw my line. Just like that. And then from there, I'm going to mark down every couple of inches. Okay, so from there, I'm going to mark down every couple of inches to the 10 inch mark, just making a dotted line. Once you've drawn your dotted line, you need to come in and pin down just inside it or just tack it so that it can't move. It's a great thing about a carpeted floor is you can just stab your pins right in and not have to worry about damaging anything. Except for maybe your pins. But pins are easily replaceable. And then, because I don't have a rotary mat large enough, I'm going to cut along my dotted line with my scissors. Just nice and carefully. Just take your time with this. Because you want it to be as straight as possible. And then cut out that straight line you marked here as well. Just like that. I did make a bit of a boo-boo here guys, but it's not an overly huge one. 
is make sure that you add an inch to your measurements. So I had 42. I actually needed to make it um, 42 and a half because you need seam allowance on this edge, but because I'm gathering it, it's already slightly too big, so I'm not too worried about it. But there is my first panel, my first front panel for my skirt, and you do this for all the panels. Just make sure the only mark you really need to make is at the fold line here, put a notch. Because that's how you're going to line it up with all of the other ones. Okay? Same on the bottom. Mark both sides. Just like that. Alright, I'm going to go do the other panels and be right back. So after I got all of my pieces cut out, what I then did was went along with my serger and serged all of the edges all the way around because the uh, gathering that we're going to do to this is possibly going to make it fray, or not possibly, it will make it fray. And I didn't just do this to the underskirt, I did it to the overskirt as well. Uh, I also did it to the uh, bottom band. And it tells you to cut uh, two of the number 10 uh, piece and eight of the number nine piece, and you cut them on the fold. But with one number 10 and four of the number nines, I interface the back. And this is the one that you're going to see. The other one's just going to act like a lining. I'm very sick right now, guys, so sorry if I sound a little weird. Um, yeah, with with the band pieces you don't have to notch them but with all of the um, underskirt pieces that you're going to gather you need to clip them um, with the exception of the back pieces the front pieces you need to put uh, notches in the center so that you can line everything up properly okay and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the cut and prep of the underskirt and overskirt in the next video, I will show you how to sew the underskirt. So until next time, happy sewing, guys.